going to talk about the biggest designer shoe trends of 2024 and in doing so we're going to do a little bit of a what's in what's out take it with a pinch of salt what i'm really going to be talking about is what we're seeing more of and what we're seeing less of does it mean that you have to go through your things and throw out the things that are out no don't you dare okay well if you hate it then maybe you might want to think about letting it go but if you if this is something you love if it's a trend you love you keep rocking it okay it's nobody else's business but yours so <laughs> i'm just here to tell you what we're seeing more and less of starting off with something that is out and I'm so happy that we finally come to this point. Dad sandals. Oh my gosh. Dad sandals we are definitely seeing in decline. I'm talking about those sort of Birkenstock-esque, um, wide-soled sandals. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tend to have much of the toe separation okay straps across the front we've seen these done by a number of brands the chanel ones were really popular for for a while you've got the hermes sheep or all of that i in the past have not been the biggest fan of the dad sandals and you know whilst i'm happy to see that they're on the decline its replacement isn't that much better <laughs> because what's in ladies and gentlemen is flip-flops the humble flip-flop get your Havianas out it's their time to shine now of course because we talk about luxury a load of these brands put in their luxury little twist on it okay we saw Chanel flip-flopping down the runway in what seemed to be black suede flip-flops they look so simple they look so unassuming and yet they will be extremely popular amongst your top high fashion girlies let me tell you we are thonging it between the toes um lots of different interpretations of this like i said you've got the flat to the ground your classic flip-flops you've also got a heeled version like burberry is serving us again we're seeing what between those two front toes that little that little stop okay that little pillar between the two uh sporty interpretations from Miu Miu. that whole Miu Miu collection though was giving very sort of hollister vibe yeah they've done it with sort of these like um scuba-esque surfer-esque bungee cord details that you know offer a little bit of uh strapping in the back of the foot there and then if you're not that ready to give away your dad sandals just yet if you do like the comfort of um a birkenstock or that kind of shape then there are hybrids okay you've got something like the uh there's an hermes version the sort of a hybrid of this that gives you a little bit more coverage at the front of the foot if that's something that's important to you the row has been doing a version of this as well again a little bit more of a thick sole a bit more of a sturdy looking flip-flop apparently there's a flip-flop for everybody apparently guys if you are new here my name is cassie and i'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict i put out videos on mondays wednesdays and fridays so if you like luxury fashion then you're gonna love it here so down there subscribe turn on the bell become a member of our luxury addicted family when are we going to rehab <laughs> never moving on to the next out over the top sneakers your super exaggerated bordering on animated comical cough cough mischief maybe it's time for you to sod off for a bit you know there was a time when these really were having a moment circa 2017 and what's coming in their place, what we're seeing a lot more of now, what's in are plain white sneakers. These are something that I almost see as a wardrobe essential. If you don't have a pair of plain white trainers kicking around, get your priorities right, you know, because <laughs> that's, that's, it's, an, it's like having a white t-shirt, you know, it's a must. So I'm sure you're already fashion forward, right, if you've got one of these, but um, examples that we saw of this on the runway, Gucci, the only trainer they showed was like a very simple 80s kind of style with just a little bit of the Gucci webbing. Valentino did a runner style with mesh. So again, we're very paired back, we're quite minimal with the old sneaks. Bottega also, white trainers. This is an easy one. Now moving on to another out, pumps. And whilst I'm not going to sit here and tell you that all pumps are out, okay, because they're not, what I am saying is that we are seeing a lot more sling back and mule styles at the forefront when we're going into spring summer 2024. So I am talking about YSL. Saint Laurent has been doing 
the sling back very well for a solid year now I'd say. Their shoes in general are becoming a lot more popular, especially these sling back styles. I don't know, it's the combination of the snout and the heel and all of that. People are loving it. They're carrying this on for spring summer 2024 with a little bit of a wider heel, a bit more sturdy, okay? A bit more sure footed on the ground. But again, sling back style. The other thing with sling backs while we're now in the colder seasons is that they still work well with tights. I think they add like a little extra element. It's not as crazy as like a sandals with tight situation that either you're like, oh yeah, cute, chic, a little bit different, or like, oh my gosh, you're making a horrible fur part. So I think it kind of, it's a nice little middle ground between those two, which you obviously can't really do in mules because you'll be slipping and sliding, my love. Valentino was also showing us some slingback options in a kitten heel version, just there, weeble wobbling on um, a centimeter. Also, if you look at something like a liar, you're seeing a mule, bit more sort of full coverage on the front, naked on the back. Versace as well, that are blending in that PVC um, trend that seems to sort of rear its little head every spring summer. That plus like an open toe option, I mean exposed. Speaking of open toes, Another trend that we are seeing a lot of for Spring Summer 2024 is the open-toed boot. Yes, you heard me right. Yeah, a boot, knee-high, okay? Let's use our imagination. Knee-high boot, close to the calf, chopped off across the toes. Okay, let the tootsies breathe, apparently. Um, bit of an odd one for summer, because whilst knee-high boots in the summer is also a trend that they're showing for us, if you didn't want to contain all that condensation in your feet <laughs> then there are open toe versions to get some air circulating around there i felt i felt the need to tell you victoria beckham showed this um versace again showed a version of this sport max i mean there's a lot of commitment to a boot for a woman anyway I don't make the rules. Okay, the next shoe style that is out, <gasps> spanner in the works, stick with me, ballet, ballet flats. What do I mean by this, Cassie? As we know, we have seen the rise of ballet flats over the last year solidly. And whilst ballet flats are still very in, I would say the literal interpretation of a ballet flat, I'm talking the satin, I'm talking those Miu Miu ones that took fashion by storm not that long ago, that kind of thing we're seeing less of, and what we are seeing is more like edgy interpretations. A little bit of a shift down the Mary Jane route, so it's like less ballet inspired, more everyday flatsy, preppy vibe. Chanel, obviously OG of the ballet flat, uh, one of them, was what's going on, has recently released a Mary Jane style in all leather that also comes with a leg warmer. You've got Sandy Liang, again, we're going down Mary Jane, Bally as well, down the a little bit more sort of edgy interpretation. You've got Amina Mwadi with her new range of ballet flats. They've got a bit of a tie up, they've got crystals, they've got a skew with toe. And then also, in case you love a ballet flat, but you also love a bit of height, Simone Russia has said, I've got a wedge for you. We're basically seeing it evolve into something a bit different, something a little less on the nose to give a bit of differentiation between the seasons. Speaking of platforms, what are out are, okay, this sounds like I'm contradicting myself what with that one Simone Russia suggestion, but put that to the side. What we're seeing less of are platform wedges. I'm talking those really chunked up, I've got a platform under the toe there, sky high, you are clip-clopping your feet through Marbella in the summer. And in place of those, we're seeing what I'm going to call a skinny wedge, okay? It's a lot more sleek. There's some that like taper in a lot. They just look a little bit more streamlined to the rest of the shoe than a platform wedge would. I've got some examples for you. Ferragamo. Ferragamo is doing these insane wedges. They look so good. I just fear that that, that angle, that incline of the foot, that pitch looks really quite colossal. I, I do feel as though I need to try it on though because that's a lovely looking shoe. Do you see how she's like elegant? She's an elegant little wedge. She's mysterious, intriguing. 
and utterly, utterly stylish. Again, uh, if we're going to talk about Chanel's most recent collection, they did a sort of iridescent rainbow wedge. Again, tapers in and out. Something like the Louboutin Dolly wedge. It's an unassuming little wedge, okay? But it works, and that's a sort of a very classic Louboutin style. You know what? These heels are a bit more sculptural. I actually think that that's a good way to describe it. If we look at something like Jimmy Choo and their recent collaboration with Jean-Paul Gaultier, they did a clear wedge again. So it's a little bit, is she there, isn't she there? One of them had the Eiffel Tower, one of them had Big Ben. The merging of the two cities of the, of the brands, okay? I thought that was quite genius, to be honest with you. Um, Jimmy Choo also does the Anise wedge again tapers in a little bit. She's sleek, she's streamlined, you know? Um, that's the way that we're seeing more wedges go. Loafers, I think we're seeing less of them. Their place has sort of been swooped in by ballet flats, and then I think even more for Spring Summer 2024, it's flat forms. Now, you've got the bridge between the two with something like Gucci, who is doing the platform loafer, but you see that there is either very little or no incline on that platform, hence flat form. Now, one thing, there is a common peril with the flat form and that is, should you have a little bit of an uneven surface, should you step on something that you didn't think was there, your ankle is gonna go bam, okay? It's happened to the best of us. If you're not out here trying to risk a broken ankle, maybe flat forms aren't the way to go. I'm always willing to walk that line a little bit. I'm like, oh, it's a colourful little story to tell. If I twist my ankle, oh, I twisted my ankle in the new season Gucci platforms. <laughs> but keep that in mind, it is something to note. So yeah, I reckon they're gonna push those quite a lot next year. I really quite like them. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like the vibe. Molly Goddard is very much more the kind of cutesy, girly look. So I think brace yourself for the platform. One more trend to throw in there that's going to be definitely having a moment next year is hardware. And this is a fun one because whilst we've seen crystals, metallics, the razzle dazzle, wonderful, on the catwalk, we're now seeing less of that, I would say, and more of the hardware aspect. I'm talking anklets a la Fendi. We've got little sort of um, tea bars with hardware uh, studs and details and embellishments from something like Tom Ford. The Attico, again, they've done it down that strappy little route. And also present in the flats. Tory Birch has been doing this with just like a little, again, on the little toe separator, on the pillar between the two toes, nice little piece of metal hardware. So I think that that's a fun thing that we're going to be seeing more of. Jewelry on the feet, dress up the feet. Let me know which trends you're happy to see leave and which ones you're happy to see step in their place. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father, if you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, Keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.